Hi, in this video, I'm going to be reading an email I received from a viewer and I'll do my best to answer it. As always, if you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. People read the comments and so when you leave a comment that is good, it really helps other people. So I'm gonna go ahead and read the email and I'm just gonna open it up here. And the person's name is Sahil and the question is how to approach a question. Hello, Sir Sorcerer Supreme. I'm from India and currently in class 12 preparing for JEE Advanced, Joint Entrance Exam, which is the entrance exam for highly reputed Engineering College of India, i.e. IIT, the Indian Institute of Technology. My problem is that I understand everything in maths class. Questions seem very easy when teacher explains it, but when I try new questions by myself, I don't understand how to solve it. Please help me how to approach a question. And please review the maths paper of JEE Advanced. We will love to hear your thoughts and what you think about it. Thank you. So, Sahil, I have a couple things to say about this. So, first, let me say I think it's great that you're studying math and you're in grade 12 and you're trying to get into IIT. That's a really good school. It's a great school. I had a friend who went there, he was really, really smart. He has his PhD in physics now, and he was a really cool guy. <laughs> That's the story. So, so I think it's great that you're trying to go there. I also think it's really good that you understand everything in your math class. I think that says that you get it and that you're actually very intelligent. I mean, the fact that you can actually understand what's being taught in class, I think, is huge. I remember being in classes and not being able to understand anything. So the fact that you're already there, I think means that there's a lot of hope okay because if you didn't understand what's going on in class then it would be a whole different story so you already understand what's happening in class but then when you try to do problems by yourself you're getting stuck and so that basically means that you don't understand why those problems are being solved those ways so when a problem is being explained to you and someone shows you how to do it that's good that you understand it but you should also ask how did that person get to that solution? As a concrete example, when you know, you're know you reading a, a Delta Epsilon proof, you can easily read the proof and understand it, but you have to know how to come up with that choice of Delta that's given in the proof. In other words, how do you come up with a proof? And that's really what's missing, so that when you see those questions on the JEE, you're able to understand how to come up with the solutions, not just understand the solutions. And that's very, very challenging for people to do, especially if the math is hard or if there's any type of proof involved. As far as the JEE advanced, uh, I looked at it long ago, it's been several years, and I made a couple video solutions to it, and I thought it was a really hard test. What I've heard about the JEE is that a lot of the problems, and this is just stuff I've heard from people on the channel, from the comments, that a lot of the problems, they are, designed to be solved a certain way. So like there's certain reoccurring things that come up over and over in the problem. So like certain re reoccurring themes and ideas and techniques and tricks that repeatedly show up on these types of problems. So my advice would be to just try to solve some practice exams and to just spend as much time as you can preparing and go over those practice exams. If anyone else has any specific advice for how to prepare for the JEE, please leave a comment in the comment section below. My understanding is this is a really big test. A lot of people take it. I've looked at the questions. I thought they were quite challenging. I solved some of them, but I haven't sat down and worked through like three or four practice exams to really figure out like these are the techniques you need to get better at the JEE. I haven't spent enough time on those problems to be able to give that kind of advice. So if you have any advice for Sahil or anyone else on the JEE, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And Sahil, I think you can do it. The fact that you understand the solutions is really good. Now you just need to figure out how to come up with them on your own. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.